video is about homework problem in the stores calculus textbook section 13.3 .3, number 14 okay. this problem they give us a vector function s of t equal to e to the t t cosine t t i plus t j plus e to the 2t sine 2t k okay. so they give us a vector function which means they give us a curve okay. now we want to reparameterize this curve in terms of s which is arc length and start count the arc length with s with t equal to zero in the other words arc length is zero one t equal to zero okay so basically we want to replace t here as s which is arc length so we need to know the relationship between s and t and in the book we learn ds dt equal to magnitude of r prime t okay so what we need to do is first find r prime of t then find its magnitude okay to find r prime of t based on the rule r of t is a vector function find its derivative is equivalent to say find the derivative of each of three components okay so let's take the derivative of the first component e to the 2t times cosine 2t two function product uh, multiply each other using the product rule so we'll take the derivative of e to the 2t first give us 2 e to the 2t keep cosine 2t unchanged then fix e to the 2t take the derivative of cosine 2t give you minus 2 sine 2t let's give it i okay and then take the root of a second component which is t take the root with respect to t give you zero then plus the third one so add zero okay then plus take the root of the third component again using product rule give you e two e to the two t sine two t plus two e to the two t cosine two t let's give it a coefficient of k okay now we need to find out the magnitude of r prime t so the magnitude of r prime of t is is the square root of the each component square all together so I'll give you two e to the two t cosine two t minus two e to the two t sine two t whole sine square plus zero square then plus two e to the two t sine two t plus two e to the two t cosine two t whole sine square okay now let's find the first term okay let me write here two e to the two t cosine 2t minus 2e to the 2t sine 2t square okay. let's calculate this okay let's a minus b whole sine square you that use the formula give you a square which is a 4 e to the 2t square give you e to the 4t okay. then cosine 2t is whole sine square then minus 2ab 2 times 2 give you 4 then times 2 give you 8 e to the 2t times e to the 2t give you e to the 4t then you got a cosine 2t then sine 2t then plus 4 
square e to the 2t square give you e to the 4t times sine square of 2t. Okay, we simplify this, give us add first and the third term together. Put 4e to the 2t out. So, for the parentheses, you got a cosine square 2t plus sine square 2t, which give you 1. So, these three times really can be right as a 2. 4e to the 4t minus 8e to the 4t cosine 2t and then sine 2t. Similarly, we can find 2e to the 2t sine 2t plus 2e to the 2t cosine 2t square, which is the third term inside of square roots. You can do the same thing. They will give you 4e to the 4t. Uh oh. I miss, I miss, oh yeah, I didn't miss, I didn't miss anything, sorry. So you do the same thing as the, the first term, then we can get 4e to the 4t plus 8e to the 4t cosine 2t and the sine 2t. Okay. So once we substitute uh, those two equations, back to the square roots. Since back to this equation star, we can find r prime t magnitude is equal to this term, when you add them together, this term and that term canceled. So we have this. 4 e to the 4t plus another 4e to the 4t. Okay. So give us square roots 8e to the 4t. Let's give you square roots of 8, then square roots of e to the 4t. Which give you 2 square roots of 2e to the 4t take square roots, give you e to the 2t. Okay. okay. So we find magnitude of r prime t. Then let's go back to this formula. ds dt equal to magnitude of r prime t. If we integrate on both sides, start from 0 to t, ds dt. And now integrate from 0 to t. Since we use t there, so the inside we use want to use t twice. Okay. If you there is a dummy variable. Okay. So the left hand side give you RT minus S T minus S zero. Okay. Equal to since we set at t equal to zero, that's what we start count the odd lengths. So S zero is zero. So we got this. S T equal to integral from zero to t r prime u magnitude of that du okay so here is our formula so we'll go back here our st here is equal to 0 to t magnitude of r prime u du for our case you go back here Replace t by u, so you got 2 square root of 2 e to the 2 u du. Give you 2 and the square root of 2 is a constant. Pull that out. 0 to t e to the 2 u du. Let's give you 1 half e to the 2, two t. Okay. Okay, let's integrate this. You got 2 square root of 2 
integrate that, you got one half e to the two u divided by zero and the t. That's two cancel with this two. So you got cancel with this two. So we got square root of two. Square root of two e to the two t. Then minus e to the zero, which is a one. Therefore, we got this, s equal to square root of 2 e to the 2t two minus 1. We solve for t. So first, we replace, we divided s both sides by square root of 2. And we got e to the 2t two minus 1. Then we add 1 on both sides. So we got e to the 2t. Two equal to s over square root of 2 plus 1. Then to solve the t, we take ln on both sides. e to the 2t is equal to ln s over square root of 2 plus 1. And this gives you 2t. Okay. So we got this, 2t equal to ln s over square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, now we're ready to parameterize that. Or rt, okay, or rs there really is rt sub s. Okay. So why do you see t there, you see 2t there, replaced by ln s over square root of 2 plus 1 then cosine 2t 2t two two there is ln square root of 2 uh, square root of, I mean s over square root of 2 plus 1 that's coefficient of i okay then plus 2j okay. 2 there is doesn't matter what it is and the t. That's always a 2. And then plus e to the 2t. Two 2t two is ln s over square root of 2 plus 1. Then times sine 2t, which is ln s over square root of 2 plus 1. Then k. Then we're done. Now, R there is a function of S. 